family, my name is Jennifer and I am here with your partner workout today. So grab your child, grab your spouse, grab your neighbor. You can do this social distancing and let's get started. So here's how today's workout is going to go. So both partners are going to be working out at the same time but doing different exercises and then you're going to flip flop. So for example, our first set Partner A, so that's what you got to decide first, is who's going to be partner A, who's going to be B. Everybody's going to do the same exercises. Partner A is going to start out and is kind of going to lead the flow. So partner A has got 30 renegade rows. So sometimes we call these plank rows as well. Partner A is going to come down to their mat and they're going to do 30 renegade rows. So pulling that dumbbell into the side and back down. Slow and controlled. These can be done from the knees also. So 30 total is the goal for partner A. Now, while partner A is doing those renegade rows, partner B is holding a plank. So toes and hands or forearms. Your partner's choice. So as soon as that's been completed, then you're going to flip flop. So then partner B is going to do those renegade rows. Partner A is going to plank. As soon as that set's been completed, you've got a quick cardio burst of one minute of jumping jacks before we go on to set two. So you both are right here for one minute. All right, set one down, grab some water, towel off. We're back to our partner A has got 20 total push-ups. Y'all know what those push-ups look like, so I'm not gonna waste our time demonstrating those. But remember, you can go knees, you can go toes, you can also go wall push-ups. Partner B is going to do a wall sit while partner A does those 20 push-ups. So a wall sit, find some space in your basement or your garage. You're gonna sit back into the wall. I'm looking for 90 degrees here. And you're gonna hold this while partner A does those 20 push-ups. As soon as partner A finishes the 20 push-ups, you're gonna flip-flop. Partner B then does the push-ups. Partner A has the wall squat. Then you've got one, mount, one minute of touchdown squats. So you're right here. One minute of these. Now, I've got a little hop in my touchdown squat. You can definitely take that hop out. And you're right here. All right, nice work. Third of four sets. Partner A is going to be doing a squat, do a bicep to an overhead press. So, they're gonna grab those dumbbells. Partner A, squatting down. We've got a bicep. We've got an overhead press. 30 of these. So, while this is partner A, partner B is gonna be doing some mountain climbers. So, coming down to the mat, this is a quick movement right here. Your partner may also slow those down, driving those knees in between your arms. Your cardio bout right here is one minute of plank pops. So you're both coming to a plank position. You're starting here and you're popping up. You can walk it back and pop. You can step it back or hop it back and pop, or you can walk everything, whichever works. But we want to get that chest up and proud as we pop up. So one minute of those. Last set right here. Partner A has a right leg reverse lunge to a curtsy lunge. 20 of those. So here we go. Right leg, work, reverse lunging, center, curtsy. 
center. Reverse, ah, curtsy, center. So 20 of those. We're gonna go each leg on these. We're really gonna get some lower body today. While partner A is doing that, partner B is gonna be doing a right side plank. So right here, option one, option two, right here. So you may need to take a break because partner A is gonna be doing a lot of lunges may take a little bit longer, you may not be able to hold that side plank the whole time. So feel free to drop down, take a quick break. As soon as you're ready, come back up. But don't worry, now you're gonna switch. So partner B has got the reverse lunges, right side, 20, to the curtsy lunge. And as soon as that's done, we gotta switch sides, right? We can't be uneven. So partner A is gonna to come to the left lunge, curtsy, while partner B is doing the left side plank, okay? So your last minute of cardio for this workout is gonna be baby froggers. So usually on our froggers, we really like to get big, we extend those legs. Our baby froggers, right here for one minute. As soon as you've knocked out that minute, you are done. Give your partner a high five and have a great day.